The government has purchased a 40% stake in Delarue's wholly owned subsidiary, Delarue Kenya EPZ Limited, for £5 million, or an equivalent of about 660 million shillings at the current exchange rate. Pressure from parliamentary oversight in 2013 has yielded results three years later. Regarding the quest by Delarue to be the Central Bank of Kenya's exclusive currency printer for 10 years. This condition is no longer part of the transaction uh, that we have just signed today. As we prepare to leave the European Union, this sort of international expertise and, and entrepreneurialism and willingness to engage around the world is just what British firms will require to succeed. When asked whether the Central Bank of Kenya can employ the services of a different company to print its currency in light of the freshly signed joint venture between the government and Delarue, Rotich had this to say. Central Bank are the ones mandated to um, uh, to uh, you know procure whatever they want uh, they, they can uh, procure following the procurement law which you have in place which provides for competitive or whatever uh, sources of, of, of or methods of procurement the 40 percent stake will entitle the government to two board members out of five in the new entity with one of them being the board's chair De La Rue's factory in Ruaraka, which employs 288 Kenyans, is set to benefit from capital injection in the short term. We will have three principal manufacturing sites. One is in the UK, one is in uh, Sri Lanka, and the other one is here in uh, Nairobi in Kenya. Um, so it's one of our three global hubs. Uh, we're making a £15 million investment across our manufacturing footprint over the next two years. And if you are curious to know when Kenya will get new generation notes in line with the constitution's requirements, don't set your hopes so high that it's soon. The issue of the new generation that is uh, within the central bank uh, purview, that's their work in terms of uh, whatever they, 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 they plan to do on this. On this matter literally involving millions of shillings and cents, the cabinet has trumped parliament as the joint venture deal has now become a reality. And if the National Assembly is to act, the horse has already bolted. Alex Mwangi, NTV Business.